down the hill then. And uh, Ralph Schumacher 5.8 behind as we look at the scrap between Villeneuve and Verstappen. That's the battle for 17th place on the grid. Heidfeld just behind them in the Sauber having started from the pit lane and Villeneuve really monstering the back of Verstappen's car. You'd expect that car to have a great deal more speed, straight line and corner. They're going around the outside then, Jack Villeneuve, just giving the inside for the next corner. Hasn't quite worked out though. It's such a high speed corner, it's 105 through that left hander, so there's not really a braking zone as such. Jensen Button in the sister BAR up to 11th. So, uh, solid, uh, if unspectacular performance in the midfield there from Button at the moment. Furman remains 13th. Wilson has dropped down to 20th, unfortunately. He's obviously had a, a little problem in there somewhere because he was running ahead of Verstappen. He was. You just saw him there at the back of your frame. Villeneuve having a little bit of a look then into the left-hander. Can't make it stick. Down through the bit curve then, over 100 miles an hour, onto the back straight. Surely Jack can do it now. Again in the slipstream, there is a big stop at the end of this. An equal level of grip from side to side on the track. He now has the right position and he should easily make that move. Villeneuve will now be released and can get underway. But uh, that, was, that was really his easiest and best chance and he took it nicely. So Villeneuve goes up into 17th place. Verstappen drops to 18th and Villeneuve starts to drive away a little bit. Jos the boss. Nice to see him battling now. Wilson, you just saw at the top of your screens. So Raikkonen leading on lap nine. Heidfeld having a bit of a go side by side with Verstappen. And he makes it stick. That's where Heidfeld went off in qualifying. Verstappen's making it hard for him though. A nice bit of overtaking. Two passes then in the sequence of a few corners. And who? Oh, Villeneuve's binned it. He's managed to control it though. Oh, we had a huge aquaplane in Friday qualifying. Went straight on under Hairpin. Not at all his fault on a very, very wet track, he was on the wrong tyres, but there he just appeared to drop it. Well, he was pushing hard, wasn't he? He finally cleared the Minardi, he's got some track in front of him, just wanted to get on with it. There was a gap of some 11 seconds to the main midfield pack, and uh, there, got some understeer in turn two, managed to keep it all together, bits and pieces of carbon fibre coming off from uh, underneath the front wing and underneath the strakes that run underneath the car, so he will not be handling as well as he was, and he's got to do it all over again, except now it's two Minardis and a Sauber. Well, that should be an entertaining afternoon for him at the moment. And now, as you heard Martin say before we went to the break, he's actually got to do it all again, and now he's got two Minardis to deal with, so a torturous afternoon for him in this battle. Just have a look at it. And that car of Villeneuve's, look at the body language in that thing, Bill. It is not a comfortable car. It's a twitchy, nervous car. It's not nice over the bumps, and uh, easy for that car to get into an end-swapping situation. There's been so much conjecture about Villeneuve's situation this year, just into the next. Focusing for a moment on that start, Bill, and it was a tremendous start from Kimi. He just drove away from everybody down into turn one, and significant that Ralph was able to jump away as well. And you notice the way that Michael just took his hand off the steering wheel, uh, made an adjustment on the way down towards turn one, and was kind of almost like, well, here I am, I just cruise up here and do this. It was an astonishing bit of vision to watch him looking so relaxed on the way to the first corner. One of the things that I didn't mention in my discussion is Villeneuve now gets a look up the inside, still can't do it from the dirty side of the road, makes his apex speed very slow across that turn. Lap 11 of 60 here at the European Grand Prix at the Nürburgring. It's a fantastic scrap for last place in the Grand Prix. Something you don't see very often. Jacques Villeneuve, who certainly doesn't appear at the back all that often, is trying to pass Justin Wilson in the Minardi in front. This zone as the downforce bleeds off and the car comes up, the springs are less compressed, the tyre's getting a little bit worn, and suddenly you snatch a brake. Where you were braking before exactly the same place you braked in the previous 10 laps, and it was from the start, Kimi Raikkonen taking the lead, Ralph Schumacher jumping Michael Schumacher, he is 7.3 seconds behind race leader Raikkonen, as Villeneuve thinks about an attack on Wilson here. We're going to see a pass here, unless Wilson covers the inside line, which he hasn't done, he's left Jack exactly the line he needed, and uh, Jack has been getting too feisty in the two corners before that. There's no point, you'll never get through in those. But if you just come out of the bit curve well, he's got the straight line speed and the better downforce and braking capacity. And, uh, well, he's pulled the same manoeuvre now on both Minardis. Unfortunately, with that spin, he's got to do it all over again on uh, Verstappen now. 
Yeah, I think that was actually Verstappen. Let me just see. Yeah, that was Verstappen. The two Minardis have switched order. Corrections, apologies for that. Villeneuve is now behind Justin Wilson. It was Jos Verstappen who he just passed for the second time in this Grand Prix. Here's your race. Seconds. Ted. Well, Martin, you're talking about the Renaults. I've got to say, actually, they're looking pretty good in this. The lap time suggests that they are going to run longer than the Whoa, Williams. Ted, must interrupt you. Sorry. Jack Villeneuve's front wing has come undone. I wonder whether he's hit the chicane bollards that we were talking about before. There's certainly a number of people done that this weekend. And the man who was giving us the best fight of the Grand Prix has now knocked his front wing off, Jacques Villeneuve. Yeah, we saw him spin off exactly here where he is now. So either the damage was done there, we did see pieces of carbon flicking up in the air. I think more likely he's given the bollard to whack at the chicane. So that somewhat uh, concludes a miserable first part of the Grand Prix. He will stop, uh, have a new nose and read. There we go, look, yeah, there was a bollard on the right-hand side. Driver error and uh, he'll, he'll change the nose, but that will uh, leave him uh, back at the tail end of the field again. At the moment, the two Jordans are 19th and 20th. It's like some sort of uh, fairy tale, this, isn't it? It's all some sort of terrible dream where you're constantly going back and back and back to the back of the grid, no matter how hard you try. Here's the Renault or Monza. Villeneuve out of the Grand Prix. He was in 15th place. And uh, they're giving us a button caption, but I can assure you that is definitely Jacques Villeneuve there. And oh, there we are, off the racetrack. So, at the end of this lap, there'll be six to go at the Nürburgring. Ralph Schumacher comfortably in front, Montoya second, Barrichello third, Alonso fourth, Coulthard fifth.